A Stirling engine is very different than a normal engine, but it has some similarities. The Stirling engine works on differences in temperature between two surfaces. And with a difference in temperature, we can drive a little motor. In addition to driving a little motor, of course, we all know that the motor could be a generator. So we could drive not only a mechanical motor, but we could also drive a generator which generates electrical energy, electricity. In this example, what we have is we have one plate that is open to the ambient temperature, the temperature of their surrounding. So there's one temperature, and in our little uh, basin here, we have ice. The key to a Stirling engine is temperature difference. We can either have something real cold and normal or something real hot and normal. In this case, on our second one, we have a cup of hot water. So on one side we have normal ambient outside temperature, okay, and then on the other side we have hot temperature, hot water. Doesn't have to be water, doesn't have to be ice, it could be any source of temperature. In many cases, new technology, renewable energy technologies, they're using sunlight, the heat of the sun, to provide the temperature difference. The sun provides a lot of heat. We can concentrate that heat onto our Stirling engine plate. And the difference between that and just the outside normal temperature of a daylight today, 70 degrees or so, that temperature difference can drive a device, either a motor where we have physical energy, we can do work with that motor, or we can make this a generator, Stirling engine generator, which creates electrical energy. A lot of work is being done in New Mexico, especially Sandia National Labs, on this kind of system. You'll see a lot of big concentrating solar dishes, which takes sunlight, concentrates it down on the surface of a Stirling engine, and we can generate significant amounts of electricity in this way. This has a lot of applications for electrical energy production, and you can see that the concept is fairly simple. A simple temperature difference is all we need to create energy, to create motion, or to create electrical energy. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.